Hello from Chinesha.com, this is Mark Josie. So today we'll continue with the Deck G lesson and remember to cover the hole with uh, tape if you're starting at first because the deck mark is very hard to set up. So use tape but right here we will use the D key deck G that I recommend, okay? D. So if you watch the second uh, lesson, the previous lesson, you know that uh, how you should place the mouth and blow the sound, right? So assuming that you all know how to blow the sound, okay, we'll, we'll try to blow one octave. Okay, the deck G has, uh, like, you can see the, the spectrum or the octave, like the sound. Okay, it's like three sections. The first section is six, five, four, three, two, one, and then open, and you can cover it again and cycle again to, for the second one. For the third part, is some high notes that require more air and skills to blow. So let me demonstrate first. Okay, so that's one one finger. Okay, now this deck here is using the deck mode because the deck mode is really not uh, fresh, so the sound is kind of weird. So we need to stretch it a bit. Just to stabilize the deck mode first. See, I want to emphasize this again. If you're starting the deck day one or day two, you need to use tape. That mock problem all the time. Okay, when you don't set it up right, it will happen. So remember to avoid that issues for beginners. Use tape. Now for the first uh, octave, we want to blow the low note. Okay, everyone, let's try. It's very easy. Six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, like that. Okay, very easy. So you want to try to learn all that note, and then when you blow it, okay, try to close your eyes and listen to the sound. When you listen to the sound, you your your brain uh, program yourself to really like uh, know how how to press for whatever sound. Don't think about all the A B C D E F G stuff. Okay. Forget that. Okay, this is Chinese music. We we learn by hearing and learning the sound first, not trying to learn the notes. The new style of teaching will teach you how to see notes. Like in Chinese music script, it's like one, two, three, four the numbers. But right here, we want to learn how to hear the sound so that when I, when I play a sound, you know how to reproduce the sound. Okay, try this. I'm playing a six key, okay? Six. And remember your fingers, your fingers here, the thumb is placed here, stretch apart, and the pinky also spread apart like that. Okay, so everyone, let's try some notes here. Six, five, four, three. And then we'll try three, two, one, okay? Now, let's try seven with the second hole only covered. Okay, very good. So when you can play all these notes, hear it, okay? Well, at your own time, hear what you're playing. And then you may think, oh, I only know seven notes. That's boring, right? Not really. Now I'll play you a melody that uses only the low octave. Very cool.
You see, everyone, with just six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, you can play a lot of fun and very soothing music. And if you can play the high notes, of course, you can even do more variations. But you see, with just these, you can really do a lot of stuff. Even if you want to go faster. See everyone, <laughs> with just the low note, you can blow a lot of stuff, fast, um, soft, soothing, slow, fast, a lot of variations. And if you can master all like the seven notes that I just talked about this lesson, you'll be able to play these. Remember, don't learn the A, B, C, D, E, F, G is useless here. You'll need to learn how to hear the sound and reproduce the sound. When you can reproduce the sound, you hear I play with a D, 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 and you have one, you can play it too. Very easy. So, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.